Welcome back to t -way Radio Shop. My name's Neve, and today we are going to be unboxing the new Hi HP 795 EX, which is their new Air Text device. Before I jump straight into the unboxing, I am just going to talk a little bit about what Air Text means for those who are unfamiliar with the concept of Air Text equipment. If you'd like to skip straight to the product unboxing, I will put a timestamp on screen now. In industries where hazardous environments pose risk of explosions or fires, ATEX T-Way radios play a crucial role in workers' safety and communication reliability. ATEX radios are designed to operate without sparking or generating heat, not only in normal situations but also when the devices have failed, they still won't spark. This minimises the likelihood of igniting flammable gases or vapours that might be in the air on ATEX rated sites. The EU has implemented a set of ATEX safety standards that equipment must meet in order to be used in explosive environments. Industries that are normally categorised into the ATEX rated workplaces or the explosive environments are oil and gas, chemical manufacturing, mining, um, waste management, stuff like that. Think of an explosion as needing three things to start. That's fuel, oxygen and heat. Fuel would be anything that's capable of producing flammable vapours, gases or dust. Oxygen is in the air all around us and heat or the ignition source could be a match or an electronic device overheating or a spark from a radio. ATEX devices have been designed so that they can't produce enough heat or a spark to cause a fire or an explosion, even if they were to malfunction. ATEX radio's internal components are encased in a non-sparking material. Their circuits are designed to operate at low energy levels and their components are designed to stop arcing, which is often a source of sparks. In the UK, most ATEX radios are blue, and this is to help easily identify them from other devices that you may have. However, there is no specific requirement or regulation that dictates that all ATEX devices must be blue. If you would like to learn more about ATEX devices or ATEX rated sites, then I'll leave a link to a comprehensive ATEX guide um, from our website down in the description for you to read, and we'll jump into the unboxing. Hytera has recently released a new intrinsically safe radio series which the HP795EX is a part of. That's the radio that we're going to be unboxing. I'm guessing that this is the newest addition to the Hytera HP series. The HP series is gradually replacing the PD series from Hytera so I'm guessing that this radio is going to be the replacement for the Hytera PD759EX which is another ATEX device that Hytera produce. One last thing before I show you the radio, the Hytera HP795EX comes in the IIC variation and the IIA variation. The main difference between the two is that the IIC variation can be used on hydrogen sites whereas the IIA variation can't. This is what the box looks like when you first open it. This is a user manual and a quick reference guide. We would always recommend familiarising yourself with this before using the radio. It comes with a single unit charger and a power supply. A leather wrist strap. Standard belt clip. The device's antenna. The standard battery. This is actually a new feature on the battery. So to actually clip the battery onto the device you have to lift up this and pull it in and you see how it releases these three prongs here and you pull up this lever like that and then you pull it back like 
that so that the prongs go away. And of course the HP 795EX device itself. So you put the battery onto the device, you want to slide it along the battery rails on the back of the battery and then pull the clip up like so and then it's clicked on. And then last we just need to attach the antenna. So here is the device fully assembled. As you can see, this is a display variation of the radio. They don't actually have a non-display variation of the HP ATEX range yet. This is the only radio that's in the series. It has a full keyboard with a 2 watt high power front facing speaker. The speaker has an integrated AI noise reduction algorithm so this basically means it will isolate the background noise and make the user's voice the primary thing that's being transmitted. The new locking mechanism that we've just showed you is a new design by Hytera and it's to protect the high grade battery board. This is the volume and channel knob and the emergency button. I'm going to go ahead and turn the device on. To turn the device on you hold down the red um, right hand side button here. On the side it has three programmable buttons, one, two, three, and that's a large textured push to talk button. For today's um, video we just have this radio programmed to our demo channels. On the other side we have the accessory connector which is the same as the HP regular radios, the non ATEC. This is a 2.4 inch high impact resistance screen with a relatively easy to use interface. Like many of the newer models of screened radios, it's laid out a lot like what an old mobile phone might have looked like. It has a navigation button here. Similarly to other models like the um, Motorola R7, or the HP 785 non-ATEX. It doesn't have a select button in the middle of the navigation. You actually select by clicking the top left button to confirm stuff, which once you've used the radios for a bit, you do get used to, but it can be a bit jarring at first. The speaker has an anti-magnetic mechanism to resist attracting metal dust and shavings that could potentially damage the speaker. This helps to protect the longevity of the radio's audio quality. The speaker also has um, water port in design, which means that if any liquid is to get into here, it'll automatically be expelled um, from the acoustic cavity, again, protecting the device's audio quality. It has textured anti-slip housing. The radio has built-in safety features such as man down and lone worker. So you can turn these on in the settings like I just have by going to settings and security features or you can have them turned on um, by programming the radios so that if you press a programmable button they'll automatically turn on or if you go into a certain zone that's been geofenced or something like that. This device supports Bluetooth 5.3 WLAN and NFC functionalities. Allowing for the expansion of third party application solutions, um, enabling remote and tag management for radios to ensure efficient terminal management of the devices. This device also has built in positioning modules to support a flexible combination of GPS, etc. I'll put all of the um, 
types of satellites and stuff that it's a part on screen now and this helps to enhance the positioning accuracy of the device down to one meter reliable positioning info can help find workers in need of assistance quickly in emergencies when the man down or low worker features are activated on the devices the device will precisely send the location details of the user to help protect them and get a team to them quickly and efficiently. On this device, it has an integrated volume and channel knob. So if you click it once, it will change the channel. And if you click it again, it should increase or decrease the volume of the device. I'll quickly give you a run through of what the navigational menu looks like. The device has just been programmed to our higher frequencies at the moment. So it's got a nine square grid, similar to like an old phone, like I've said. You've got contacts in the top, messaging, call log, Bluetooth, positioning. settings, profiles, scan, zones, and that's it. To turn the device off, you just hold in the red button again, the same one that you used to turn the device on. That brings us to the end of today's unboxing. We hope that you've enjoyed the video. If you have, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We put out educational and sometimes entertaining two-way radio content every other week. If there's anything else that you'd like to see on our channel, please leave it in a comment in the comments down below. Other than that, thank you for watching.